Greetings friends, I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review, the Rex Sentry 3-piece slant bar stainless steel safety razor. A quick walk around the box. It's a sleeve, open it up. A fitted package. Here's the front and on the back some information. Let's open it. Inspector's ticket. Little padded cover. Here's the razor stowed safely inside. Let's remove it. Remove this protective cover. Very nice looking razor. It is a slant bar razor. You can see how the the bar is skewed slightly. It doesn't look like a severe slant to me. It just looks like a moderate slant on this razor. So you've got smooth stainless steel here and then you've got this diamond grip knurling on the handle and then vertical lines on the dial at the bottom that you can use to unscrew the handle. In the bottom of the handle, there's a hole. Let's disassemble the razor. It's a three-piece razor. Here's a look at the top cap, the inside of the top cap. Here's a look at the safety bar, one side. And on the other side, you see it reads Rex Supply. And then you have Made in the USA, and then the serial number. If you buy it from Shave Nation, you can choose your desired serial number from the options listed. As I said, it's made in the USA, so I'm going to use a blade that's made in the USA. Persona, double edge, comfort coated, made in the USA, right there. Let's crack this open. On the blade pack itself, very nondescript. All it says on the back is storage for used blades. So you do have slots on the back where when the blade is spent, you can slide it in there and safely dispose of it. Let's see if we can slide one out. <laughs> it appears that it's very easy to get the blade out. You would think that you can just push down with your thumb on the blade in the middle and then push it forward. I had difficulty doing that. I have to fiddle around with it, but I did get it to slide out. So it isn't that easy to get the blade out. It's a bit of a challenge, but I did finally get it out. It does say made in the USA on the blade right here. So let's install this right over the threaded post and the slots. Make sure it's completely seated over these two slots and the threaded post. Then install your safety bar. Then reinstall your handle. And tighten it down completely. And it does have a recess for the handle to screw into when you tighten it all the way. That's the beauty of the slant bar razor right there. You can see that the blade is skewed or twisted and that makes it a little bit more aggressive than a standard flat bar safety razor. The shaving cream I'm using today is called Lockhart's Authentic. Here's a look at it. They have some of the coolest packaging I've seen in a long time. If you ever collected Garbage Pail Kids stickers or cards when you were a youngster like I did, you'll really love this packaging. It's very cool. Here's another one. This is the Big Fat Shaving Soap and all their packaging looks somewhat similar to this kind of an animated uh, character which is pretty sweet. This is what I'll use. This is also made in the USA. By the way they also have aftershaves which we carry and different pomades as well. You can layer everything up together. This one's called Goon Grease. Here's what it looks like. It smells very nice. I can tell you the scent profile. The top notes, cucumber, lemon, bergamot, ozone. The mid notes, neroli, coriander. Base notes, musk, pipe tobacco, patchouli. So very nice scent on this. I'm gonna see how it lathers up. Got my Shave Nation artisan bowl here. I'm gonna put it under the hot water. Just gonna soak it under the hot water. Take my scully cup, fill it with hot water. I'll be using this Shave Nation Zebra Brush today. You can see the thick, dense Badger Knot. I'm gonna dip that right into the hot water. And let that soak for a second. Put a little bit of hot water on top of the soap as well. Just swish it around, bloom it up a little bit. And you could actually let that soak for a minute or so while you prepare everything. But I'm gonna get started with the shave, so I'll pour this out. Remove the brush from the water. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. Pour out that water. Give the brush a couple shakes. I'm gonna go right in here and load these tips. I'm 
Now you can go directly to the face with this and face lather, or you can go into a bowl, which I will do right now. Let's go in the bowl, pour out the water, see if we can generate some more lather. Just swirl those tips across the bottom of that lather spot. This bowl has lather lines going around the inside edges. You can see lather builds up pretty easily. No problem building a lather for several passes right there. I'm going to warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right, you can see my face is warm. Got the blood flowing to the surface. Cheeks are red. All right, let's lather up. Grab our brush, our bowl, and our copious amounts of lather. Let's apply. Nice consistency on the lather. Not too thick, not too thin. Just want to cover all the areas you're going to shave. Just a light scent on this shaving cream, not overwhelming for sure. Drive it into the beard. You can paint it, dab it, swirl it. Figure eight, smooth everything out. Set the brush down. Swipe the lips, swipe the neck. Clear the runways so we get a good look at the sideburns, keep them even. Here we go, the Rex Sentry, three piece, stainless steel, double edge, safety razor. I'm gonna temper it under the hot water. All right, let's do it. We'll start on the right side. Oh yeah, nice. No trouble removing my couple days beard growth right here. Let's flip over, one side is filled. Flip to the other side. Shaves evenly on both sides. Rinse. Rinses out very easily, no problem. I didn't even run the water at full force. Okay, left side, cut that sideburn. You could start a little bit lower and then work your way up for the sideburn to get that straight line. Clean the cleft. Flip. You can see that stubble. Very comfortable grip on the handle. It's got good sized grooves in there so the lather rinses out really easily. Under the nose. Excellent, rinse off. Just a quick face rinse. Leave your residual lather. It's nice and slick, leave it on there. You don't need to fully rinse it off. Let's grab our brush. Plenty of lather for another pass or two. Figure eight, smooth it out. Set the brush down. Swipe. Swipe the neck, clear the runways. Now we'll go across the grain. Wet fingers, no problem gripping it. It's got some nice feedback too. Can hear it working. Backhand.
I can feel the blade more than with other razors. And I'm not sure if it's the Persona blade or if it's the razor, because when I took the Persona blade out, it seemed flimsier to me than other razors. Like it was a tad thinner than other razors. So it may just be the blade, but it is performing very well. Against the grain on the neck. Beautiful. Now across under the nose. Just lay the tip directly under. Clean out that area and then lay it flat. The flatter you can make your skin, the better your shave is going to be. Because remember, you have a flat surface blade or a skewed, twisted blade going across a flat surface. Rinse. Two surfaces meeting up, a better shave. Okay, second pass complete. Feel around, very smooth, super smooth. Let's just do a quick rinse. See if we can go against the grain on the cheeks. Grip your skin. There you go. Find that sweet spot. Right here it's doing nothing. Tilt the handle slightly upward till it catches. And just very light for the skin pass. Gets your cheeks super smooth. Okay, this side, same deal. You're just letting the blade glide, skim, right over the skin. Excellent. A final rinse to the razor and a cold water rinse to the face. Whew. Yeah, super smooth shave. Look at that. Cheeks, chin, mustache, neck, everything baby smooth. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap under the cold water. Just glide that all around the areas you shaved. Excellent finish to the shave. Recap it, set that down, then let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Let's apply some fine American blend aftershave, also made in the USA. A little bit in the fingertips. It's got a regulator so it doesn't come out too quickly. Mm, very nice. A little bit of a sting. Let's dry it off. Let's do a quick dry down. Oh, very nice. Let's take a final look at the razor. Beautiful shave provided. Super smooth, very comfortable shave. This razor is more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. Let me give you some bullet points on the razor. Century three-piece slant bar, stainless steel safety razor. Barine grade stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about rust, but it's always a good policy Dry your razor completely after the shave so you don't get water spots. You'll just be asking for trouble. Dry it off, no problem. Take care of your tools, they'll take care of you. Designed for coarse beards and sensitive skin, it has a blade neutral feel with the efficiency of a slant razor. A diamond grip handle for superior grip, even with wet hands. A lifetime warranty through Rex. And if you buy it from Shave Nation, you can choose your desired serial number from the options listed. And again, made in the USA. The specs on this razor. This razor weighs in at 3.55 ounces or 101 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 3.5 inches or 87 millimeters. This razor, as I said, more aggressive than I thought it would be. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 on a scale of one to 10. Really did the job for me. Two and a half passes, I'm baby smooth. I might not even have to shave tomorrow, <laughs> but I probably will anyway. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 700 videos, shaving and more. If you wanna pick up any of these items, the razor, the shaving soap with the cool label on the front, bowl, aftershave, allen block, any of that, just click down below the video where it says more or show more 
and you can grab what you need right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.